Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to go over some numbers as far as statistics, job growth, what to expect in 2025. I do see some positive numbers coming about, even though the last year or two, there was a huge reduction in, in the employment force and across a lot of sectors. Now, I do want to mention one thing. Time can only tell what would actually happen as a prediction of the future. Meaning in 2025, since it just started right now, it's very difficult to see where we're turning. Now, there was a huge announcement by Facebook, uh, Meta, that AI will replace mid-tier engineers or mid-tier developers. Now, that is huge because we all know, you and I, know that AI can do a lot of tasks, automated, and pretty on key as far as being accurate and what to expect as a result of using AI. Because now, even though you have no experience in programming or writing scripts, you can actually utilize AI, any platform, and request it, if you know how to prompt it correctly, to draft you something or write you something. You can actually build a meme crypto coin if you wanted to without even knowing a lick of development programming or any other skills that is required to do that in the past. All right. So with that being said, also AI supposedly by NVIDIA's president stated that will overcome HR. Now, this really sucks if you're in the market to look for a job because AI replacing HR as human resources saying that IT will basically be your HR department, which is even true as of today. Now, I say that because sourcing a resume, it's all done through software. Uh, putting together your benefits package and uh, your, your salary and all that, it's all done within applications that kind of like a one-stop shop that understands the people that are hired they have an ID associated with them. They have their salary and they have their vacation days. It's not being done by a human anymore. It's all done by software that can be easily uh, self-service, right? A lot of it's self-service now. So how many HR people do you actually need to run a efficient company in a corporation uh, unless you really want the human interaction, which is rare nowadays? But anyway... Let me just share with you guys right now what I have, what's going on. I always use CyberSeek as the basis of what's going on as far as who's looking for what, right? We have, and I always go down here, and let me just uh, go a little deeper. Opening requesting certifications, there are still jobs out there, all right? There's tons of jobs still seeking these specific certifications this is not where it ends though these are just the top certifications that employers are actually looking for in 2025 now a lot of these numbers have not reflected the 2025 yet because we just basically started so at least what we do have is the 2024 data all set in stone and in the past behind us now so you can see here historic supply demand for cybersecurity National average has gone up to 83%, but honestly, it looks like it's gone down, right? It's actually down. It's up 83%, but look at where it was previously at 129%. Now, that's interesting because there was a huge influx of people needing cybersecurity. And then as economy and all the other factors that came into play, uh, you know, inflation, Companies not doing too well, it has dropped. But on the positive note, 83% is still pretty good, but nothing compared to like the 100 plus percentage of demand and supply. All right. So I was looking at uh, a few things here, and what the few things that I was looking at was what concerns us the most, right? Unemployment rate plus. What are the numbers for cybersecurity specifically as far as job growth? Now, I do want to say that another thing here is AI 
is to me going to be the new trend. Uh, I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty confident that AI is going to be the new cybersecurity. And what I mean by that, there's going to be tons of certifications by every platform imaginable, right? Whether it's ISC Squared, ISACA, CompTIA, uh, and uh, EC Console, and OSCP, and all these other platforms that provide certifications for cybersecurity now. They're probably going to jump on this AI bandwagon of certifications because I don't think any exist. I try looking. There's none. Trust me, there's none that exists right now. And I'm pretty sure these companies are putting one together. And by this year, because it's growing outrageously, is probably going to be the new cybersecurity certification, the must-haves of certification AI. Just saying. I'm just putting that out there, guys. All right, so I want to go through a few things pretty quickly. State of labor, I want to share the numbers with you because I put it all in a spreadsheet and I want to just have that, put that, you know, put that out there for you guys. So there is a lot of positivity right now. State of labor department, yes. You know, the unemployment rate is still pretty high, but it's not as high as it was a year or two ago. And I can show you guys all of that. So here I'm actually at the uh, PMP site, uh, Projection Central site, uh, state employment projections, uh, and, and it goes through each state, right? But one thing I wanted to go more importantly was this. And this is right here, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, occupational employment and wages as of May 2023 all the way to 2024. Obviously, there's no data for 2025 yet. We're still accumulating all that. Now, this is information security analyst. For me, this is the only thing I could find that's closely even relevant to the field that we are in. And when I say the field that we are in, meaning cybersecurity, we can come back out here and you can see under business and financial operation occupation, you can go through the, the deeper categories and the computer and mathematical occupations. You could dive a little deeper. There's networking. There's like you have to really like figure out where do you fall under. Now, some companies would probably place certain individuals in between uh, occupations as far as like if you do networking and routers and switches and stuff like that, but you're also like their firewall guy and uh, IDS, IPS guy. You're kind of like in between, right? You're networking slash uh, cybersecurity architect or whatever. So anyway, information security analyst is the closest thing that you're going to get to cybersecurity. Any walks of it, meaning from CISO all the way down to SOC level one. All right. Yes, the wages are pretty significant. Uh, not everyone makes this amount or possibly there's a good percentage of people making more than this. Okay. Now, these are the, the, the actual wages in between. Uh, hourly wages because, you know, SOC level one all the way to a director or a CISO are making different rates. Now, here are the other numbers to start considering. When I started looking at this, I was looking at each state. And like I said, I have a whole spreadsheet that I want to share that with you guys. I'll probably link it in the description so you guys can take a look. But the website itself explains it a lot more in detail because every state you can see the uptrend of demand of cybersecurity individuals, all right? So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So I have here, which is the state by state, all right? So I gathered all this data. I took it and I extracted it and I put it into a spreadsheet and then I sort it by the highest demand, okay? So I'm just scrolling right now just to show you guys and give you an idea. Uh, hourly means wages, the annual means wages for the yearly salary in different regions, okay? So let me just go over here. This is another link that I had open. Uh, this is where you actually can export a lot of the data. All right. You can see from each year. All right. And then we're going to go here. This is the current as of, you know, most, I mean, it's all documented. The unemployment rate, the unemployment rate of 20, from 2020, uh, 2014 all the way to 2024, you can see we ended here at 4.1%, the unemployment rate. 
now you can see, look at all this. Now, when I said like two or three years back, it wasn't actually that bad. It wasn't until 2024, late 2024, when the unemployment rate started skyrocketing because, because corporations starting to just let go people that they either overhired or they were just not producing enough uh, revenue to cover these uh, individuals, right? And you heard a lot of tech companies start letting go a lot of people. Now, this is not specific for cybersecurity. This was just overall across the board unemployment. It could have been HR. It could have been like a procurement. It could have been any, any department outside of IT included, okay? So with that being said, here is the states that I said I put into a spreadsheet. Let me just dumb this down a little bit. So you can see all the numbers. So I sorted it by who had the highest base, meaning currently. And then the projected going into the following year, meaning going forward after 2024, is going to increase by 1,000, 1,250 uh, roles in, in information security analysts. Now, again, I'm saying this, even though it says SOC. I'm saying this is that these roles can be a multitude of anything. Not, we're not just talking about SOC positions. We're not just talking about, you know, junior levels. We're talking about from highest high to the lowest low. And it's a change of seven, uh, 6.7%. All right. So this is why I sorted it out this way to see not who has the higher percentage of changes, but who's expected to add the most job growth in what state. How is this beneficial to you? Because now you could look at your specific state. You can look at the jobs that you're applying to your state. Meaning when I say state, I'm not talking about the government specifically, because this also includes both private and public sector jobs. At least I hope it does. And I will confirm that. But overall, there's a lot of factors that go into these type of positions because consultant, full time, part time may not be. Uh, not all of that is actually included into this factor. They actually have a uh, a set definition of what they included as a full-time position and how many hours do you have to work in order to, for it to qualify to be part of the statistics. So I can dive a lot deeper in there and I guarantee you if I did, it'll be a lot longer video. Maybe one day I'll do that. But for now, I just wanted to go over briefly the gathered data that I have from 2024 going on to where we are going projected. Now, again, a lot of things can change, but these are just optimistic projections. Where am I getting it from? I'm getting it from here, all right? The, the US, um, US Bureau of Labor and Statistics. I'm getting all that information from here. And right now, so right, you see how we are projected each state so far has gone up, meaning there's a huge requirement. Well, except for a few, all right? Wyoming, Iowa, Idaho, sorry, Alaska are the only three states, only three states that are not projected to grow at all. Zero percent. They're flat. All right. Yeah. Uh, average annual openings. It says 10 here, but then they're also flat. That to me means that people just left and they're just backfilling, which happens, right? Uh, either that or, or they move to a different uh, outside of this, uh, you know, category of work, professional work, which is information security analysts, meaning they're, they're no longer doing cybersecurity. That happens. People leave. Right. Some some people may transition into a law department or or, you know, even GRC falls into cybersecurity. I have to double check to make sure that uh, the U.S. Bureau of, of Labor Statistics actually includes GRC roles as cybersecurity roles. Uh, it, it could be a governance role. It could be more of a legal role. Right. So I'm not sure, but I have to dig a lot deeper. And I do want to, like, understand what categories of these jobs are included for for these statistics to be somewhat accurate all right okay so that's that's pretty much it 
So again, I'm here. Uh, at least, I mean, this is where New York will be relevant to me. There is a increase from the 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 one year of uh, 340 new jobs, and then it's a 4.5 percent increase. So time and time again, these roles are going to develop, and they are looking for more talent. But then it also says a lot about who are they hiring, right? So that's what I wanted to share with you. And I'll probably make another video because I'm, I'm getting way, way over budget on time right now. But I wanted to share that with you. So the projection of 2025 is very positive. There are still jobs opening and growing, but not at a ridiculous rate anymore. Seems like it has calmed down to a point where either backfills or small incremental changes of new hires. We're not hiring 10, 20 guys to build out entire uh, sock teams, but we're hiring like one guy to probably be like wearing multiple hats, right? Configure the firewall, do some sock stuff, do some threat analyst stuff, like a little bit here and there. And I've seen roles like that plenty where they expect more out of an individual now than you concentrating on one specific thing that you're really good at, all right? So I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully this was informative. And if you do enjoy it, please comment below. Let me know. And I can dive a lot deeper into this because this is really interesting to see how uh, 2025 job market is going to turn out for cybersecurity. Thank you guys and talk to you again soon. Bye.